Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Position Sticky with CSS in order to create a sticky header and a sticky footer. All right, so I've got a web page set up, and it's blank at the moment, but you can see that I've just got a few things in the body. So I've got something that I'm going to identify as the header using the header element, a nav a main section and a footer and I'm going to use CSS to create the uh, sticky nav and the sticky footer. So, so far all I have is a pretty generic reset rule on my page. So I'm going to go ahead and add to this and I will start off in the order of the elements uh, existence in the page. I'll start off with my container. Now my container, just so we can visualize it here, I'm going to do a min height of 200 VHs. So that's going to be 200% of my viewport height. That will give me something to scroll so we can see how this looks without actually real content. Give it a little background color so that we can visualize that. And I'm going to set its width to be 800 pixels. I'll give it a margin. I'm going to be a little creative with the margin here. Zero top and bottom. Uh, actually zero top, auto right. 500 pixels on the bottom and uh, auto left. So that's top, right, bottom, left for the margin. I'm giving it some bottom margin so that way when I scroll upward past the footer, you can kind of see that the footer will then move with the main container that it's in. All right, I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to have a, the header on here and we'll do a uh, background color of yellow green. And I'm going to give it a height so that we can visualize at 200 pixels. And now I'll go ahead and jump over to the nav. If I can spell it, background color. And for the nav, I'll do sandy brown and give it a height of, I'll just say 90 pixels. OK, so now there's actually something on the page to visualize. So you can see I've got this large header area. I've got where my navigation is going to be. And of course, I've got the main area. And as I scroll, everything's moving pretty normally. But I want that header, I'm sorry, I want that nav to kind of stay locked into position. So a user, when they scroll down, that nav is always going to be visible up there. Pretty easy to do. So with my nav right over here, I'm just going to go ahead and apply position sticky and we'll put it at the top zero picks or you could just do zero there that's okay and go ahead and refresh my browser and you see that nav is right up there at the top but notice when I scroll there's my header there's the nav and when I scroll downward header moves as it should but then of course the navigation stays permanent so that's a pretty nice effect for that sticky nav navigation's always going to be visible and we'll lock in at the top. So that's pretty cool. Now we can do something similar, of course, with our footer. Um, to create the effect a little bit better, I am going to have a rule here for my main. Don't forget in my HTML, I've got this generic main section separating the nav and the footer. And this doesn't have to be that much. I'm just going to set a min height of 200 VHs. Once again, 200% of the viewport height to stretch that out. And then with my footer, background color I'll do yellow green again give it a height of 100 pixels and position sticky and I'll just do the bottom zero where I did the top before so let's save that browser refresh and check it out so I can see this is my page I'm scrolled all the way up to the top I can see the header the navigation, my main area, and my footer. Now there's more to the main. So as I scroll downward, sticky nav, I'm still scrolling on the, um, the main section. Notice the footer is staying locked down there at the bottom. And finally, when I get to the bottom of the page, my footer is moving up with the bottom of the main, or bottom of the container, really. So there we go. So there is a sticky footer and a sticky nav, or sticky header as it happens to be. Okay, so have fun with that, and you'll see this in a lot of web pages, and there's obviously JavaScript solutions to this, but this is a pretty nice little CSS solution.